The tone in which something is expressed is just as important as what we say. In some cases, more important. My name is Danami, and in this video, let's break down the beat for my song, New Genesis, and learn how the tone shaped the song's direction. As I prepped to release new music this year, I decided to create a single that chronicles what I've been up to since my last release in 2014. This is the first time people have heard from me in over five years. But what would this track sound like? I use No Bark When I Bite by Rick Ross featuring Cruel Youth as a sonic reference. My creative partner, Nairi, sent me a track with some dope acoustic drums, but the melody and the melodic music was too pretty. It didn't have the edgy mood I admired in the Rick Ross track, but I wrote to the beat anyway to flush out my lyric ideas. That's where things got interesting. Once my vocals were recorded, I searched for loops that fit the tone of the lyrics. And I found this sample from Oh Gosh Leotis. The sample's texture felt gritty, but the chords underneath it again, were too pretty. Therefore, I replayed the vocal melody using one of Logic's synthesizers, and I layered it using Artura's vocoder. The sample was in C minor, and I played the chords within that scale using a modified upright piano, also from Arturia. I picked this piano because of its twangy character and harsh high end. Like it felt appropriate to create a tone of suspense and intensity, but somewhat smooth at the same time. I added organs using Arturo's B3 and various parts to build that intensity. Side note, if you're enjoying the breakdown so far, please give it a thumbs up and like this video. The breakdown felt too empty and I wanted more energy. So I played some guitar riffs and melodic phrases. I chopped a drum loop and layered it on Nairi's drums to maintain the energy when the beat drops. The final sauce added to this track was Tape Mellow by Artura. I added this plug-in on my master bus for a bit of saturation, flutter, and wear. Here's how it all sounds together. The critical thing I've learned throughout this process is that tone can be the vehicle for your expression. Pairing the right tone with your message will help create a cohesive thought and mood for your listeners. But it's not all about me and what I learned. I hope you feel empowered to chase the right sonics for your message in your next song and ultimately feel pleased with your creation. If you're curious to hear how this track sounds with my vocals, then click the video on screen. But before you go, hold on, I have a question for you. How did the tone of this music make you feel? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. I look forward to reading them. And next time, peace. <laughs>